Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here. It is July 24th, 2018, 2.40, 2 p.m. here on the West Coast, and got a little bit of earthquake activity occurring off the West Coast of the United States, uh, just off the coast of uh, Southern Oregon and Northern California, uh, just off the uh, Cascadia Subduction Zone area near the Gorda Escapement. Um, a lot of activity today. Highest earthquake in magnitude being a 5.6. Uh, you can see that right here on the globe in these uh, cluster of earthquakes here that all occurred rapidly today uh, within a short amount of time uh, another one 5.2 also uh, many fours and threes in there as well and also a borderline five with that 4.9 occurring uh, at a depth of about 10 kilometers below the surface all pretty much within that range and uh, i'm going to show you guys this little map here i kind of uh, doing a little uh, different view of it today until I can get it fixed, kind of like a band-aid. I'm just going to show you guys here real quick on the USGS map of one day magnitudes, uh, or one day magnitudes 2.5 and above. 12 earthquakes on this specific map here uh, from the USGS. You can see uh, just a cluster of quakes occurring right there on the southern section of the uh, kind of near that uh, Gorda Escapement part. The Gorda Escapement is that part where all the uh, activity is occurring today in that uh, little cluster right there. Like I said, it's just kind of a band-aid until I can get this thing uh, working properly. It's kind of kind of uh, just being dumb today. Could be the heat. I know the heat's been getting to me here in California. It's pretty uh, hot. Looking at highs of, uh, well, 105 to 110 all week and next week as well. We're not getting any kind of cool down anytime soon, but you folks uh, out there in the east, uh, central plains, northern plains, southern plains, all back there, it's getting a fairly good cool down coming up here uh, real soon. So you guys have some uh, some uh, some good better better weather, I should say, coming your way while we bake out here on the west coast. So you can see uh, earthquakes here occurring just off the Gorda Escapement Zone, or right at the Gorda Escapement, I should say, the Juan de Fuca Plate or the, uh, yeah, the Juan de Fuca plate is just to the north here, a little bit of this activity, uh, while you got the Gorda plate down here where all this activity is occurring. <clears throat> now, with all, with all these magnitudes here being roughly around 10 kilometers, at least that's what they're stating here. You can see, <clears throat> excuse me, all of them pretty much right around 10 kilometer mark. <clears throat> Lose my voice. And, uh, <clears throat> So, you know, I'm not for sure if that's 100% accurate or not, or if they're still looking into it. Uh, but that's what the USGS is issuing the, uh, the depth of all these earthquakes at. Uh, 5.6 right there. You can see that one kicking off uh, earlier this morning at a depth of 10 kilometers. And let's see if we can go back to the first earthquake that did occur this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, looks like it was a 4.3, that one right here being the uh, first of them this morning and then followed up by a, a 5.2 and then also a couple threes in there and some fours and then a bigger 5.6 and now we're getting a 2.8 and, and a 4.9 and 3.1. Uh, so, so what's the next one going to be? I mean, this is kind of a trend. We go from a, a lighter size earthquake followed up by <coughs> some moderate magnitudes and then followed up by a bigger earthquake and then some more moderate uh, magnitude aftershocks I guess but I wouldn't say aftershocks because we haven't seen a, uh, a main shaker so to speak I don't think I mean this is interesting activity to get this type of cluster uh, and moderate earthquake activity in this zone I know I know I don't want to see it um, you know with it being associated at all with the uh, Cascadia subduction zone and whatnot uh, down through here. This is definitely uh, kind of like a black widow's web. You know, you don't want to be touching it. You don't want to be throwing things in it. You don't want to be moving it uh, to startle the monster that could come out and bite you. Um, so we're keeping an eye on this one. I do have a live web recorder up of um, earthquake data that's positioned right off the coast up here of Northern California um, or when we do have any kind of earthquake activity, you'll be able to see that uh, live data coming in there. Uh, but definitely uh, interesting activity. I do have a couple other maps I want to show you, uh, but I will do that later tonight in an update video. 
when I get this thing properly working right now, my hotkeys are not working like they should, which is probably gonna require me to do a reset on the live stream, which I will do a little bit later on um, before I get that uh, update video later tonight. But I did wanna inform everyone out there of the uh, continued activity off the west coast uh, with the last earthquake being a 3.1 according to these folks at the USGS and a couple 3.1s there and um, we'll see what happens next this little guy right here just off the coast was the last one or off the uh, off the west side of all this activity I should say um, kind of off the Gorda plate as well into uh, part of the um, Pacific plate it looks like so, you know, definitely a lot of pressure and then some interesting activity occurring down there. Uh, this here is fairly close to my my uh, home area. So I definitely want to, uh, I'm definitely gonna make sure I get everything stocked up and prepared just in case of a larger earthquake out here. Uh, well, you know, we do see this trend. Sometimes we do see a trend like this before a larger earthquake does strike. It could be, uh, later today, it could be next week, it could be no telling when, you know, but either way, um, I will keep an eye on this and keep everyone updated in regards to uh, all this activity occurring just off the coast of uh, Southern and Southern Oregon and Northern California there on the uh, Gorda Escapement. So anyway, folks, have a great day out there. And uh, I will be back a little bit later on to fix this thing up and get it back to normal, get my hotkeys working. Just got some weird stuff going on again um, not necessarily the internet internet's fine but uh, something to do with this OBS program right here not for sure what's going on but either way uh, we'll catch you folks a little bit later on so try to stay cool out there uh, if you live here in California like I do I'm gonna be inside all day the heck with going outside I don't care if my grass is a foot tall <laughs> it, uh, it'll be green though but uh, it's not gonna be short so Anyway, folks, catch you all a little bit later on. Uh, Hawaii's still kicking off there. They did have a 5.6 uh, volcanic eruption earlier, uh, or I believe it was late last night. Yellowstone as well. I'm going to speak about that here coming up. You can see a little spike of an earthquake occurring there. That all got kicked off with a 3.7 last night. Um, and we'll cover that and everything else in an update a little bit later on today. There's just a lot of activity to cover, and we'll try to get it in. Uh, today after I get this thing fixed and uh, in the meantime stay cool folks 